Welcome to Online Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. And in today's class, we have a sweet challenge, a very good challenge. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. What that does is that YouTube uses it to notify you whenever we drop wonderful video. So let's take our selection. So here we have selection. Let's put down our equation, which is 3 to the power of 2, bracket open up here, minus 1, minus 8, bracket open 3, x minus 2, bracket close or equal to 1. Now, a critical look at this. Let's use this 2 to open this power. So if we do this, this is same as 3 to 2x to the power of 2x minus 2 minus 2 or minus 8 to the power of 3 3x minus 2 close bracket or equal to 1. Now from this we can open this here. We can equally open this. So this and this, we can rewrite them to give us here 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of minus 2 minus 8 times 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of minus 2 or equal to 1. Now, what has just happened now? I applied the law of indices. The, I, the, the law of indices says that if you have the same base numbers and the powers are different and you have a multiplication sign here, what do you do? Add the power. Take only one of the base and add the power. If you do that, this will give you this. If you do same T here to this will also lead to this. So the system has not really changed. I only made use of the laws of indices and i have a video on that and i titled it the several pillars of indices it's showing up here okay you can equally watch that video to know how the laws are operated how the laws work all right so let's proceed now that we have this now this is a negative power this is also a negative power this can equally be rewritten x three to the power of 2x times 1 all over 3 to the power of 2. We can equally do the same here. So here we give us 8 times 3 to the power of x times 1 all over 3 to the power of 2 or equal to 1. Any confusion? No. So we proceed again. If we do this, 3 to the power of 2 is 9. It means 3 times 3, which is 9. So if we do this, this will now give us 3 to the power of 2x all over 9 minus 8 times 3 to the power of x all over 9 equal to 1. Now, we can eliminate this 9. The 2 9 we have here now, by multiplying the whole of this by 9, Multiply the whole of this by 9. Multiply the right hand side by 9 also. So if we do that, this, let's proceed from here. We give us here 3 to the power of 2x all over 9 times 9 minus 8 times 3 to the power of x all over 9 times 9 equal to 1 times 9. Very easy. So now that we have this, this 9, we strike this 9. This 9, we strike this 9. All right. So with this, we are now left with 3 to the power of x minus 8 times 3 to the power of x equal to 9. Now, if I decide to put this in bracket, they bring out here 3 raised to the power of x. We're going to have a quadratic equation. 
But first of all, let's bring the out. This could be written as 3 to the power of x all raised to the power of 2 minus 8 times bracket 3 to the power of x close bracket or equal to 9. So what if I said let 3 to the power of x equal to y? So now that I said let 3 to the power of x equal to y, it tells me that wherever I see 3 to the power of x, I put in y there. So this will give us y to the power of 2 minus 8 to the uh, to multiply by y minus. If I decide to bring this 9 to the left hand side, this will give me 9. There on this other side, we are left with 0. Good. So this is our quadratic equation. So we solve this quadratically using the factorization method. So what do I do? Uh -huh. How do we get the two numbers that were multiplied together to give us minus 9 add together to give us minus 8? We bring out all the factors of 9. So let's go ahead and bring out the factors of 9. This is our 9. Factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9 itself. So among these three numbers, let's pick two numbers that when you multiply them together to give you 9, add them together to give us 8. So without any stress, the two numbers are going to give us 1 and 9. But the question now is, is going to be, what will now be the signs of this? 9 is going to take negative and y is going to take positive. So what does that mean? It means plus 9 times minus 9 is going to give us minus 9. The plus 9 plus minus 9, that will give us minus 8. So we go ahead and impute this into our expression yeah so we now have your y square minus sorry let's take the first one plus one y okay my plus y then minus nine y minus nine equal to zero at this point can i go ahead and group these terms so if we are to group there this group this this we group this to this so when i look for the numbers or the factors that are common to this and this the one common to this and this so the factors common to the first expression is y so if we bring out y here we are now left with y blocks bring out y from here you are left with one minus what is common here is nine so we bring out nine bracket 9 into 9y, nine we are left with y. Minus times minus will give us plus. Then 9 into 9 will give us 1 or equal to 0. Something special has also happened here. We now discover that the terms in the first bracket is same with that in the second bracket. So having this, we take only one and take this factor outside and this one outside. So this will now give us here y plus 1 close bracket bracket y minus 9 close bracket all equal to 0. So we, quite, we cannot equate each of the bracket to 0. So this will now give us y plus 1 equal to 0 or y minus 9 equal to 0. So from here we proceed. Now that we have this, we can now collect our light terms to make y the subject of the formula. So if we are to make y the subject of the formula, this will now give us y equal to minus 1 or y equal to positive 9. Therefore, y equal to minus 1 or 9. Now, if you recall, we said in um at this point we said let 3 to the power of x equal to y so we can now go back and impute this value into our y so dx will now give x here 3 to the power of x 
is equal to y. And what is y in the first place? y is minus 1. So this solution is not real. y can never be minus y. So this solution, the first one, is out of the system. We take the second one. So this one now gives us, uh, implies 3 to the power of x equal to 9. We reduce this one to this same base, which is 3. So we can rewrite 9 as 3 to the power of 2. Because 3 to the power of 2 will give us 9. So the bases can cancel themselves since there is an equality sign. So when two of them cancel themselves, we are now left with x is equal to 2. x is the solution to our exponential equation. All right. So from this solving, if you have a question, drop it in the comment section. Or you get the values from our teaching from our solving you can equally drop it in this comment section by giving our video a thumbs up or by saying thanks j to encourage us okay as we strike a win-win balance thanks for being there online mass tv loves you jakes loves you